this is amazing. Now we have code iteration tool running on Grok. Using this, we are able to generate code from scratch. We are able to execute code from the terminal. Using Grok API, we are able to perform a task such as improving the code by giving commands like these. We can accept the change or discard the change. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about the code iteration tool. The main thing to note is the speed of execution. You are able to generate code within a few minutes, modify the existing code and optimize the existing code. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to use this tool. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, git clone fre uk slash iter and then click enter. Now navigate to the iter folder. So these are the steps you need to follow to run this tool. First create an account and generate your API key from Grok. Then install nix. So this is Nix, you can download and install based on the version you're using, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Docker. I'm using Mac OS, so I'm going to copy this code and run it here. This is like a package manager. Now, Nix profile install github colon fiuk slash iter, then add all these parameters. I will put all the information in the description below and then click enter. This will automatically install the required package. Here, I've already installed that. Now export Grok API key like this and then click enter. Next create a file called app.yml and then click enter. Inside the app.yml file, we need to set the model name that is Mixtral. Next setting the feedback. So this is the feedback which we are going to give to the large language model, whether to execute the file or do py linting the file and legacy API is false. That's it. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. If you see the app.py file, it's an empty file. So now we are going to use Grok iteration tool to create code from scratch. So I'm going to type iter config is app.yml and the file name is app.py. Just run this from the terminal and then click enter. Now it is all ready. It has a quit option, a reload option, a write option, explain, discuss and feedback. Finally undo. Now I'm going to ask this create the Python program to list the files in this folder and click enter. Now I got a response. So you can see the new version with the code. So to accept this, I just need to type A. So you have different options here, whether to accept, discard the change, edit the change or reflection. That is chain of thoughts, block, undo. Now I'm going to accept the change by typing A and then click enter. Now the change got accepted and this is the latest version. Now, if I want to run this code, just colon F, that is the feedback and type execute. This is the configuration which we set earlier on the YAML file and then click enter. Now the code got executed and it listed all the list of files based on the code here. Now we can reiterate. I'm going to ask add comments to this file and you can see the difference directly on the screen. So it's going to delete this one or change this one to this with comments. And similarly, it's adding comments there. Now I'm going to accept this. Now going to ask use software engineer best practice and modify this code. And then going to click enter. It did make few changes. I'm going to ask it to keep the comments. So the power comes when you can iterate through this. So I did ask it to keep the comments and you can see the comments here. Now I'm going to accept this change. But before that, I'm going to try reflection that is chain of thoughts so just going to type r for reflection and click enter now this is going step by step as you can see here and make sure our request is satisfied this is talking directly to the grok lpu and finally here are the changes you can see here the difference also it's directly on the screen and it is listing the list of things it did now to accept i'm going to type a and then click enter now the code got accepted so this is writing in the file in real time. So if I open the app.py file, I can see all the code written here. So I can reiterate quickly with the power of Grok. Now we are going to perform pylint, just colon F and then pylint. This is also, we did set that up on the app.yaml file and then click enter. 
then it ran the code, got some messages. Based on that, this will automatically send these errors to the large language model and immediately there is a feedback on what are the list of things to change based on pilot. Here I can see it removed the main function. So I'm going to ask it to add it back again, add the main function back. And I can see the main function got added and finally accepting these changes. That's it. Now the code is ready. I can even add more features to this, modify this in a fly. This will be like a quick start if you want to start an application. So this will speed up your development and saves lots of time. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.